South Dakota and we've set up on a stock dam. We're out at Cody Warren's place and he has got the bucks and the deer. There's a lot of deer coming right to this area. So we've put up a ground blind here. Now it's been here for long enough that these deer should be used to it. So I'm hoping these deer will either come on the other side and move towards us or come right out on the sides. This ground blind should contain our scent. We sprayed down well before we came in. So I'm hoping that'll do the trick. Now all these deer were kind of on the opposite side of the pond that we were sitting. So I'd be looking at a 60 to 70 yard shot at this distance. The question though was whether or not this buck was a shooter. He wasn't all that big and where we were hunting, well they've got a very strict management policy and that's the reason there are such big bucks. If you adhere to it, you can produce the really nice deer and that's all part of it. So on this trip, well there may have been a couple of bucks that I may have shot somewhere else, but here in South Dakota, we were looking for a very nice, old, mature buck. Nice rack would be helpful, but I wanted to make sure that he was in that four and a half year old age class or better, because I didn't want to be shooting one of these young deer. Well, this was definitely the hot place for all the deer. Now it was a little bit before the rut, so there wasn't a lot of rutting activity, but there was some pre-rut going on. A few of the bucks were starting to fight each other, and regardless of where the bucks are at, they all need one thing, and that is water. the rut is starting to ramp up. All the bucks, well, they are in fighting mode. They're ready to rock and roll, and there's a little sparring going on around the water hole, a lot of activity. And that's one of the cool things about being out here in South Dakota. There are so many deer here. Makes it a little bit more exciting, nice to see a lot of the deer, but the thing is where we're set up, it's almost like they ambush us. They're coming over the top, and all of a sudden, they're just there on top of us. So we really got to be alert. We've got most of the windows closed, focusing just straight across the stock dam, but trying to check these sides as well because these deer have been coming in close as well. So looks like a pretty awesome sit. Just got to get it one in close enough. Tip of the week is brought to you by Field and Stream. Trusted brands, timeless traditions. We're out in South Dakota and I'm looking at some long shots. So when you've got long shots, well your gear is extremely important. Now I've got my Matthews Jewel here, a bow I absolutely love and feel confident with. Now this bow is set to about 63 pounds, so that's something I've been comfortable with. I've shot that for years and I can shoot sitting on the ground, knees up, whatever, it doesn't matter. Now the other thing, I've got these Easton Injection Arrows. They're a very small diameter and get great penetration. Now that, coupled with my broad head I'm using, this is the Rage Hypodermic, a brand new head out. And the nice thing is, it's probably one of the best penetrating broadheads on the market. Just great penetration and when you have really long shots, these are all key factors. So I've got the right setup, now I just hope to get a buck inside my comfort zone so I can make a shot and put all this great product to use. So we're all set, now it's just time for the bucks to come in close. This segment was brought to you by U.S. Sportsman's Alliance. Our heritage, our fight. Protecting hunting from coast to coast. 
Did you know that Montana adopted hunter harassment laws in 1986, becoming one of the first states in the country for protecting sportsmen from anti-hunters out in the field? All the states in the U.S. have the hunter harassment laws, but the majority are using the language developed by the USSA. Just another fun fact showing how sportsmen and women are making a difference. things I really enjoy about ground blinds is if the deer are used to it and you're wearing black and are hidden inside, you can really get away with a lot and have deer very close. And that's exactly what was going on. It was a non-stop show all day long. We had tons of pheasants. And that's one of the other cool things. When you go to hunt with Cody, not only does he have great deer hunting, but he's got incredible duck hunting and unbelievable pheasant hunting. So it's almost one of those hunts where you could go there, get a little pheasant, a little duck, and some incredible deer hunting all at one location. We're a little bit here before the rut. It's still a little bit earlier, but every deer in the country, well, it needs to water, and this is one of the only watering locations around. So I'm hoping we should get an eyeful here. The only scary part is, well, on the other side of the pond, I'm not sure I can make that long of a shot. We're looking at over 70 yards, and with the bow, that's just a lot of room for air, and the deer move. I don't want to make a shot and have the deer turn and be in a different location by the time it gets there. So. It's going to be a patience game, but you know what? I like the odds here. There's a lot of prints. It looks like a great location, and hopefully we'll have some luck. he was going to be coming right to me. I got to full draw, settled my pin in on him, and I just wasn't comfortable with the shot. The last thing I wanted to do is take a long shot, risk the steer, jump in the string, possibly wounding him. It just wasn't worth it. So I decided I'm going to wait, hope for a closer in shot, and that just didn't happen. Just had a buck at probably 75, 78 yards across the stock dam. And these shots, they're just a little too far. That's out of my comfort zone for a whitetail. And you've got a pretty small target at that distance, and we're dealing with winds. It is calming down some in the evenings, but man, this place has been an absolute hot spot. We have deer literally coming all day. It's probably one of the most fun sits you can sit all day because there is constant activity. We've got pheasants, we've got does, we've got fawns, and in the evenings, we have got bucks. And we're even starting to see some of the bucks coming midday. And the nice thing is, they're coming here for the water. So they can be coming through at any point in time, and we are set up in a great location. It's just unfortunately, this big boy was just too far away, and that's where a lot of these bucks have been going. So I'm thinking that we might try sitting it out here again tomorrow, but if it stays like this, we might move this blind around to the other side and get right in close with them. This segment was brought to you by Boss Buck. For the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market, choose Boss Buck Feeders. Now you're getting serious. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Cutty Back Digital. Hard-hitting Easton Arrows. Hunter's Safety System. Winchester Repeating Arms. Swarovski Optic. 
Send killer gold with Hunt Dry technology. Apply it, dry it, and go hunt. Rage Broadheads, leading the evolution in lethal technology. U.S. Sportsman's Alliance, protecting hunting from coast to coast. And Golden Triangle Whitetail, your hunt of a lifetime awaits. Now a lot of the hunting that I do is in the Midwest, maybe over food plots, but out here in South Dakota, well, we're hunting out in big sunflower fields. Now the cool thing about sunflowers is the fact that these deer can bed in it, it's great cover, they can eat here, and we've got a little water hole right in the middle. What I like about it is the fact that these bucks can stroll around in this area, hit the water hole at any time, and it's completely secluded. So they can hit their water, not have to go too far out of their way, and hopefully we can find a big buck coming in while it's still light. stock dam and the shots were just too far I got to full draw but it's just too far of a shot right now I'm just too nervous to end up wounding something so I think what I'm going to do we've been sitting here for a couple of days now we're going to move this blind to the other side that's where all the deer seem to want to be I don't know if it's because they're avoiding our blind so they're going to that side or if that's just where they want to be but we're going to soon find out so we're going to take this blind move it around the other side set up there and see if that doesn't work any better well, we spent quite a bit of time brushing in this blind. Now looking at it from every direction, I think it looks really good. The only hard part is always the black windows. But we've got everything brushed in. It's not silhouetted. It should be 25, 30 yard shot.
just had a pretty close call. It's the last evening and I had a doe literally about two steps from the blind and a nice buck was behind her and actually came running right toward us. I had all the time in the world to make a shot. It's the last evening, but I just, it's not what I came here for and I wasn't confident that it was an old enough buck to shoot out here. I would rather go home without a deer, which it looks like I'm doing now, rather than take a buck like that on the last evening. We saw some absolute beautiful bucks here. And the reason why? Well, because of the management. So we're gonna wrap up this South Dakota hunt, maybe try to get back here later. And overall, it was an incredible experience. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Winchester, the American legend. Matthews, catch us if you can. Field and Stream, where traditions begin. ScoutLookWeather.com, download the free Deer Log app for your smartphone. Moose Utility Division, demand the brand. Bog Pod, versatility defined. M&P by Smith & Wesson and Boss Buck for the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market. Now you're getting serious. Well, this had been just an incredible trip. No, I didn't get a deer, but I had a lot of nice bucks in close. I had made some moves, tried things, and it just didn't work out. And that's part of bow hunting. But I did have one thing left. I had my rifle and I was headed to Texas for another whitetail hunt. And I was confident that the number of deer down there, well, hopefully I could get inside a rifle range there. Well, I know it's hard to believe by what I'm wearing, but I'm actually in Texas right now. We've got a winter wheat field right in front of us. Now, it's not exactly what you think of when you think of hunting Texas, but it's a great food source that deer anywhere like. So right now, it's getting close to evening. It's my first day here in Texas, and actually one of my first times hunting Texas deer. The cool thing is, we could have a buck come up, I'll be in luck. Also, they have a lot of hogs on this property, so I'll be watching for those too. This trip, I'll be shooting a 300 Win Mag, so whatever steps out, well, I think they might be in trouble. Now this is about where I last saw that hog. He just came running through, and I was gonna wait to try to see if there were any more deer, but probably spooked most of them off. But I'd like to see, I think that hog probably just made it just a little ways in the brush, but I couldn't wait any longer. <laughs> right here's my hog. Now I'm supposed to be here white tail hunting, but apparently, well I can't quite stay away from these hogs. Just an awesome deal. That's one of my favorite things about hunting in Texas. I'm supposed to be out here deer hunting, and this big old black boar comes running through. Probably messed up my deer hunting for the afternoon. I was thinking about waiting in the blind, but I just got a little too antsy and wanted to see where this hog is. So we'll probably either sit this blind again tomorrow morning or try a couple different options. But we've got an awesome place to hunt here and I just can't quite pass up a hog. I just glanced out in the field and a real nice buck. He looked like just a beautiful, I think he's a 10. He might have had a broke off point. And now I can't wait to go take a look at him. Look at this buck. <laughs> awesome deer. What a beautiful buck. You know what? You couldn't have got any prettier light out here right now. We're out here and this buck came right in. We've had a couple of close encounters, but this is just beautiful. He's got great mass. 
It's got splits here, comes all the way through. Looks like just an old deer. Well, I'm pretty pumped. This is my first ever Texas buck. Just great mass, an old deer, and a nice close shot. We got him before it got too dark, and you can't beat it. I'm hunting here after Christmas. Back home, everybody's dealing with snow, and I'm down here enjoying the semi-warm weather with a beautiful buck. Now the only thing will be is, are the Texas deer as good tasting as the Midwest deer? Only time will tell. <laughs> Follow Melissa on Twitter at Melissa Bachman and on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Winchester Deadly Passion for behind the scenes footage, photos, giveaways, and much more.